Hello guys, welcome to the show. Um, today we have this beautiful 192 liter uh, with the pristine interior and everything, but a leaking heater core. So today's job is change the heater core on it, plumb the system back the way it's supposed to be, and that's it, I think, I hope. Look at the condition of this vehicle, it's amazing. It rem reminds me of my first 190. It was exactly the same sort of a torn interior inside. The only difference is um, I had a smaller like central dash thing piece. The one that comes up to about here. Um, still loved it though. Later on I changed for this anyway. Right, so we need to do a couple of things. First off will be we're gonna need to remove all the vents out uh, so I can pull the dash piece out uh, or well we'll see how that goes uh, if there's any possibility I would just try to take the dash out without the vents because they're really fragile I mean I'm gonna need to at least remove the screws on that vent over there I think there, there will be another another one up here once we remove the dash piece um, but yeah to remove the dash piece I need to pull this out pull the vents out so I can get my hand behind the dash and remove the speed uh, the speedo cable and um, then we need to remove all the kick panels underneath um, there's a switch up there for the fan I guess uh, both sides we need to remove the kick panels so we can access some bolts um, that needs to come out as well there is some bolts behind the ashtray let me just try and sneak that out yeah some bolts in the Phillips head remove these there's two more bolts underneath over here uh, let's turn all these up so we remember how everything was i mean you can see somebody's been already here um, because a lot of things are missing this is a little bit broken as well fortunately so that should theoretically just pop out lay on the side put it on the back seat just in case we don't want to scratch it or drop anything on it yeah, that car's been taken apart before, which is fine. They're 30 something years old, absolutely normal. Um, right, so need to take these screws out. We can gently pop the actual uh, vent out of there so we can use our small screwdriver. Um, and then this will fall off, uh, kinda, once we remove these two bolts that lower panel is gonna be removed and then just it's a very interesting situation because this car uh, this car has a manual sunroof but it's a facelift so I don't know could that have been added before or after I don't know no idea um, did they come like that no idea um, I'm slowly gonna start taking this apart. Uh, I'll see where I can put my phone to record uh, for you guys. It's gonna be a really long video, but it's one of these, like, that's how I do it. If you wanna follow my steps, there's gonna be a guide to how to do that. So yeah, let's crack on with that and uh, see where we can get to. Let's start removing central console bits. See another two screws, again, Phillips head. Remove those. Okay, so the bottom part of the central console now is free. Uh, we can proceed. I have removed the upper grills. Uh, what I use usually is this. 
I get behind them and pull them gently. Um, once you remove them, uh, there's three holes, uh, three screws, Phillips head, one here, one here, and one up there. I'm gonna remove them. I'm using a small, really small ratchet uh, with a bit on it, just like that. And uh, it's quite easy. You just, you have enough space because the ratchet is small. And then you loosen up instead of tightening. You do that for all three, and then this will come a little bit looser and will also free up the bottom part of the central console. Uh, to remove the vent, you'll need the Allen key. I think it's number four hiding in there for the flap. Once you remove this, then the whole vent surround can come out. Okay, so you pull down gently so these tabs can come from the top out and then the whole thing should come out. Now, most of the cases you need to remove um, the kick tray underneath. But what I did is I just loosened one um, on one side and then it kind of popped out quite easy. Uh, now, you're gonna have a small electrical connection in the back and you need to very carefully take it out. Well, it's gonna be three of them and they are your lights for the uh, how do you call it for the panel very carefully try and like wiggle them out of there you can see them over here Oop. there you go and they're out it's two of them only sorry and then this comes out and we can put it on the back seat wait for tomorrow to be fitted back on and this is it so I've taken the vent surround out um, and I lied, there's four bolts. Two at the bottom, one up here in the corner and another one behind the switch. Um, so be careful, don't, you know, don't rush it. Slowly take these out and be really, really careful when you're taking them out because they will crack if you're not careful. Took this one out, took the front panel off so there's a big nut, you remove that um, and then you pop the switch backwards and then you can just take the panel out and we can leave all the, the rest just hanging in there. They're not gonna be in the way. Uh, now we need to take the speaker covers. There's a one eight millimeter bolt, I think here and on the other side. Then we're gonna have eight millimeter bolt over here. And I think there's one on the side when you open the door over here, same as this side. Uh, and I think there might be one, yeah, one eight millimeter over here uh, as well. Do, 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 do. And uh, yeah, obviously the two eight mils under the grills. Um, and I think the actual dash can just now come out. Um, be really careful with these when you're popping them out. This is uh, optical optical cable uh, light travels through that and it's usually connected on top of the dash and it just robs light and you know sends it to both of the switches you have two of them two of, on which side of the dash and it will come for the two switches up here uh, this is it pretty pretty simple there it is the dash is out as I said, pretty simple. You pull towards you. First, that side comes loose, and then you wiggle that up and out of the way from the stalk. Unless you want to remove the stalk, of course. It's only three bolts. If you just want to be extra careful. So now is the fun <laughs> of taking that box out. Uh, it's been a long time since I've taken one of these apart, so. I'm gonna have a quick look. I think it's two 10 mils at the top, two at the bottom somewhere. I'm gonna need to shine a light, see what is going on around. <sighs> and then uh, the two small eight mils on the pipes, both sides. One is here and the other one is here. So yeah, give me a minute just to refresh my mind up, uh, get a cold snack wet the back neck a bit, you know? And uh, yeah. <laughs> so.
such a mess. Not really, it's pretty simple, straightforward. It's been only an hour. Okay, so it's out the box. Uh, one bolt here, one bolt, well, one nut here, one nut here. You just need to loosen the bottom ones over here and over there. Obviously the pipes are. This cable, you need to disconnect it from the slider switch. Uh, you have two vacuums. Um, this is for the right one, obviously. This is for the left one. Um, you have these, uh, your lights. Uh, they connect on the back of the switches and all that. Uh, this is one of the plugs for, I think it's the speed. No, it's not the speed. I think it's the speed. Yeah. And you have this, it's like a ground block or whatever it is on the side. Um, you need to remove and this is it. It just slides up. I have uh, loosened this, the actual dash, like the metal part. So I can give myself a little bit more wiggle room. So yeah, gonna have a quick lunch and then we can tear this apart. Okay, it's raining now, like what? Right, how this works, we need to unclip all these small little clips, which are pretty much everywhere on both sides. Um, we need to unclip all these. Um, four or three bolts up here, one here, two over there. And clip this little fella. Come on, focus. Need to unclip that little fella so we can detach this. Uh, probably gonna unclip it from here and this, then this panel comes out. Once this panel comes out, then we can see inside there is the heater core, which needs to come that way. So I'm gonna do all that, show you how to pop it out and yeah, put the new one in and reverse of everything that we've done so far. Look at it rain. By the way, more videos on that coming soon. It's gonna look sick. So I've separated it. This was over there. Like this, screwed in, in four places. So we remove this. And then we can see why it was leaking. Cracked. So now it's very simple. We just lift up. Careful it. I'm gonna use one of my fingers to hold it. Come on. Very carefully. I say carefully. Come on, you bugger. Yeah, man, I'm making everything dirty. Right, this is out. Original unit. There you go. Trash. And we have a new one. But first, I'm going to let the compressor build up some air and I'm going to just blow all that away so we can make it nice and clean. So first time you put your heat on, you're not like blown out with stuff in your eyes and whatever. So, yeah. Oh, man. My beard looks weird and everything. There's some noisy bugger over there. Why are you doing that? Where's the rev limiter? Where's the one? What? Yep. Right. Yeah, blow this up. Put the new one in, which is over there. There we go. Let me open that puppy up. Brand new. Okay. Right. See you in a second. And there it is. The whole unit is reassembled with the new heater core in it. I usually like to put because there's like a nut that sit at the back, like a square nut, which can fall out. So once I put them in, I put the bolts as well, uh, just to hold the nuts in place, you know. Um, but yeah, I do that on both sides. All the clips 
my back on it like every single one this one was pain to put back on but it's on there now and uh yeah literally just dump that back in it i'm just gonna give it a blow and clean from all that crap that's been there for ages and uh yeah put it back in there attach all the bitty bobs and whatever and uh yeah struggle fitting all the dash pieces back together good thing i made a video now i can you know watch and see what i have done <laughs> handy right see you in a bit okay so the box is in everything is tied and up all the wires are run where they need to go um yeah this functions correctly blah 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 all the vacuums connected all the controls like whatever um uh, this i'm not sure what it is it goes down there this is all radio that's ashtray these are the two lights over here which sit this is i don't know what this is something with the alarm uh, it's even cut off like it's not existent anymore you can just remove it but yeah now we can just plop the dash back in these speaker wires dash dash blah 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 yeah we can just put everything back on and uh that's it so there it is everything is back together as the customer dropped it in uh, we even have hot feet like hot air blowing everywhere So yeah, another 190 ready for the winter roads in UK. Um, nice and warm, so the rain can, can be coming now. We're not gonna see snow in UK, but at least when it's raining, the windows are gonna be clean. The passenger is gonna be, the passenger and the driver, they're both gonna be nice and toasty inside the car. And yeah, thank you very really much for watching. See you next time. Any questions, put them down in the comments. Thank you, bye-bye.